Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has extended his heartfelt condolences to His Majesty King Charles III, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and Head of the Commonwealth, members of the British Royal Family, and the people of Britain, following the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. His Majesty the King paid tribute to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's exemplary reign and immeasurable contribution to the deepening and strengthening of the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. His Majesty the King mourned Her Majesty's passing and emphasized that the world has lost a great source of inspiration and strength, whose wisdom and humanity will be missed by all. As a mark of respect for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has ordered that flags be lowered to half mast for three days. And in implementation of the supreme order issued by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the flags in the Kingdom of Bahrain will be flown at half-mast to mourn the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and Head of the Commonwealth following the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In the cable, His Royal Highness expressed his sincere condolences to His Majesty King Charles, members of the Royal Family and the people of the United Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's lifetime of selfless service to the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth and their peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted Her Majesty the Queen's defining contribution to fostering close and distinguished relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom and their peoples. And Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II had a long friendship and close ties to the Kingdom of Bahrain, as Her Majesty had a prominent role in strengthening the close historical relations which links the two royal families in the two friendly countries. In addition to consolidating the historical relations, the strong partnership and the long-standing friendship ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. The Bahraini-British relations are regarded as being one of the well-established relations between countries and these ties have strengthened the historical bonds that extends between the two kingdoms for more than 200 years. And the Bahraini-British relation extends back to more than two centuries. The development and consolidation of these relations increased with the beginning of the 20th century, especially since 1935 following the relocation of the main British naval base in the Gulf to Bahrain. The development of the relations between the two countries continued to this day and included various areas of importance. In addition to the depth and complexity of the historical relations that bind the two countries throughout history, they have been consolidated in the modern era with the volume of exchange visits between senior officials of the two kingdoms and the signing of many cooperation and coordination agreements and protocols, which covered all fields. In 2016, the two countries celebrated the 200th anniversary of Bahraini-British relations, and it rightly embodied the depth of the friendly and historical relations existing between the two kingdoms and the desire to strengthen cooperation and interdependence between them, especially after His Majesty the King attended the International Windsor Festival, in which a book was launched titled The History of Bahraini-British Relations During 200 Years. 
The British government has officially announced a state of national mourning for Queen Elizabeth II and published a document containing the national mourning guidelines. The document stated that the mourning would continue until the end of the state funeral day. Buckingham Palace announced the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II at the age of 96 at the Royal Palace of Balmoral in Scotland after a long reign of 70 years. The British flag was flown at half-mast over Buckingham Palace in London, to which large crowds flocked. The leaders and heads of countries of the world mourned the late Queen of Britain, recalling her long career in which she led her country, stressing that the great deceased was a symbol of wisdom and tolerance. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has issued Royal Order 26 of 2022, setting the date of the elections and nominations for the membership of the Council of Representatives. As follows, Article 1 stipulates that voters registered in the voters' lists in implementation of the provisions of Decree Law 14 of 22, of 22 regarding the exercise of political rights are invited to come to the polling and counting committee headquarters to elect members of the Council of Representatives on Saturday, November 12, 2022, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. And in cases that they require re-election, the rerun will take place on Saturday, November 19, 2022, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Elections will be held in Bahrain's embassies, consulates, and diplomatic missions abroad on Tuesday, November 8, 2022, and in cases that require rerun and re-election, it will be held on Tuesday, November 15, 2022. Article 2 stipulates that the door for nomination for the membership of the Council of Representatives opens from Wednesday corresponding to October 5, 2022 until Sunday corresponding to October the 9th, 2022, and applications for nominations in the various electoral districts are submitted to the relevant committees. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has issued Decree 49 for the year 2022 regarding defining regions, electoral constituencies and their boundaries and subcommittees for the elections of the Council of Representatives as follows. Article 1 stipulates that the Kingdom of Bahrain is divided into a number of electoral districts as follows. The first district, capital region. The second, Muharraq region. The third, the northern region. And the fourth, the southern region. The scope of each electoral district is determined by the boundaries of the governorate in which it is located. Article 2 stipulates that each electoral district is divided into electoral constituencies as follows. The capital region, 10 constituencies. Muharraq region, 8 constituencies. The northern region, 12 constituencies. And the southern region, 10 constituencies. The scope of each electoral constituency is determined as indicated in the tables accompanying the degree. Article 3 stipulates that each electoral constituency shall have a subcommittee to conduct the polling and counting processes and 15 general polling and counting committees at the level of the kingdom for those voters whose names are registered in one of the electoral lists in the kingdom who wish to vote before it to elect any of the candidates registered in the constituency. A decision shall be issued by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to form the committees referred to in the previous paragraph and to specify their locations and procedures to be followed for the election before them. Article 4 stipulates that the Decree 71 of the year 2014 regarding defining regions, electoral constituencies and their boundaries and subcommittees for the elections of the Council of Representatives shall be repealed as shall any text that contradicts the provisions of this decree. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, issued Edict 46 for the year 2022, setting the date of elections and nominations for the membership of the municipal councils as follows. Article 1 stipulates that voters registered in the voters' lists in accordance with the provisions of Decree Law Number 3 for the year 2002 regarding the system for the elections of members of municipal councils are invited to come to the polling and counting committee's headquarters to elect municipal council members on Saturday, corresponding to 12th of November 2022, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. And in cases that require re-election and rerun, will take place on Saturday, 19th November 
2022 from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Article 2 stipulates that the door for nominations for membership in municipal councils opens from Wednesday corresponding to October the 5th until Sunday corresponding to October the 9th, 2022 for nomination in the various municipal electoral districts, which shall be submitted to the relevant committees. The Deputy Prime Minister also issued Edict 47 for the year 2022 regarding the determination of municipal electoral districts, electoral constituencies and their boundaries and the number of subcommittees to elect members of municipal councils. The Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment Minister, Chairman of the Supreme Elections General Supervision Committee, Nawaf bin Muhammad al Maouda, said the upcoming elections for the sixth legislative term constitute a promising democratic moment in light of the development process led by His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. The Minister made the statement, marking the royal order, which was issued by His Majesty the King setting the date of the elections and nominations for the membership of the Council of Representatives. He said the royal order reaffirms that the kingdom is moving forward in consolidating democratic life by enhancing the participation of citizens in exercising their constitutional right to choose their parliamentary representatives. Minister al Maouda noted that His Majesty the King's vision and firm belief in popular participation have provided the solid ground for the continuity of progress and success of the democratic path at a steady pace. He commended the role of municipal councils in the democratic march in Bahrain, hailing their contributions to national development, noting that the organization of elections under full judicial supervision represents the strongest guarantee of the integrity in light of transparent and impartial procedures. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, affirmed during her participation in the Gender Sensitive Parliaments for Sustainability and Prosperity session on the sideline of the Women Parliamentarians Conference in Tashkent that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made an imprint in providing opportunities for women, which enable them to occupy high positions. Zainal pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain has a rich experience in promoting justice and gender equality within an institutional framework and advanced legislative systems. Zainal also noted that gender justice and equality is a cornerstone of an approach put forth by His Majesty the King for all state institutions and within clear plans, accurate strategies and time frames, which have contributed since the beginning of the current millennium until now to the passage of women from the stage of advancement and empowerment to the stage of progress on various levels. She also cited the care and keenness of wife of His Majesty the King, Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, that led to Bahrain achieving an advanced position in the international indicators for measuring the progress of women. The speaker affirmed that one of the pioneering initiatives adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain included the launch of Her Royal Highness's Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for the advancement of Bahraini women, which has a global version in cooperation with the United Nations. Zainal also pointed out that parliaments will enacting and amending legislation must take into account the principles of justice and gender equality without discrimination and that their powers of oversighting the performance of governments are executed in translating legislative systems on the ground. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Azayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held discussions with the Kuwaiti Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Ahmed Nasser Al Muhammad Al Sabah, and the Minister of Finance and Minister of State for Economic Affairs and Investment, Abdel Wahab Al Rashid of the State of Kuwait. The two sides discussed the solid relations between the two countries, which have grown under the mutual keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. They also reviewed the cooperation between the two sides and stressed the importance of enhancing further economic cooperation. They also underlined the importance of activating the Bahraini Kuwaiti Joint Committee and supporting its efforts to further develop cooperation in various areas of mutual interest. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad discussed with his Saudi counterpart, Prince Abdelaziz bin Turki al-Faisal, ways of bolstering cooperation between 
two kingdoms in the youth and sports field. This came during a meeting held on the sidelines of the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister's participation in the fifth session of the Islamic Conference of Youth and Sports Ministers, which is held in Jeddah under the theme Youth and Sports Development to Build a Solidarity Nation. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs commended development of the Bahraini-Saudi relations thanks to the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He stressed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to promote cooperation and organize joint programs with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the youth and sports field. For his part, the Saudi Minister of Sports lauded the solid fraternal ties binding the two kingdoms, stressing the importance of boosting bilateral cooperation in the youth and sports field.